Hello guys, welcome to Gadget Pro. Do you remember Razer Switchable UI? Do you remember Windows Light Show? Well, if you ever dreamt of a computer with its own secondary display, the Asus's new ZenBook Pro is the device for you. In place of a traditional touchpad, the company is adding the screen pad, a 5.5 inch touchscreen that can even run its own apps. That's the headline feature at least of the company's latest flagship laptop aimed at the creative professionals. The ZenBook Pro 15 with ScreenPad UX580 is the first device to get Asus's new touchscreen touchpad hybrid. It comes with a 4K UHD Pantone Validate display that the company claims will offer true and accurate color reproduction. The screen itself is surrounded by a bezel that's just 7.3 mm thick and has a maximum brightness of 400 nits with 1200 by 1 contrast ratio. Buyers have a choice of either Core i5, i7, or even the latest 6 core 8th generation Core i9, all of which will be paired with up to 16GB of RAM. Graphic wise, you can run up to a GeForce GTX 1050 with 4GB of RAM, which was available as an option last year. It puts the laptop in the same rough league as a gaming machine. And if that isn't enough for you, the ZenBook Pro can also be hooked up to external graphics card, like Asus's XG Station Pro. At some point in the near future, a 14-inch version of the ZenBook Pro with screen pad will also become available. The smaller machine will take advantage of Asus Ergo Leaf Hinge, where the display can push the keyboard up to 5.5 inches of the ground for a better typing angle. The build-to-order options for the 14-inch run up to Core i7 CPU, 16GB of RAM, and a VTS Max-Q enabled GTX 1050. In addition, whereas the 15-inch has a fingerprint sensor, the UX480 packs an infrared camera for Windows Halo's facial recognition. The ZenBook Pro isn't a gaming laptop, however, and is instead intended to be used by creative professionals such as video editors, programmers, and designers. Combined with the Asus Pen, the company hopes that illustrators and other imaginative types will think about its tech over some of its rivals. Not to mention that both laptops in this range support Amazon Alexa for voice control. Asus hasn't been stinging with connectivity on the larger model, cramming in a pair of USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports into the chassis. Via those ports, the system will be able to support both power delivery as well as output to 4K UHD displays at the same time. A third external display can be driven with the HDMI out port too. Other options on the 15 inch include two skinny USB 3.1 Type-A ports and a micro SD card reader as well as the power jack and a 3.5mm headphone socket. Ports on the smaller model are a little more modest, with two USB 3 Type-A, a single USB-C port, HDMI out, micro SD card, and the usual power and 3.5mm jack. The new ZenBook Pro doesn't just look the same as its predecessor, it's also the same thickness and weight. And holding in the hand, you can certainly feel that they're designed to take a beating, with excellently solid build quality and heft. As for the keyboard, the company has opted not to fix what isn't broken, sticking with the G-flat style keys with 1.5mm of travel. Although personally, the keys feel a little spongy for a machine of this caliber. Of course, you are all interested in the screen pad, and the company explained that it is a Windows Precision touchpad that's overlaid on the 5.5-inch FHD IPS display. When the user wants to switch from touchpad mode to screen pad, they just have to hit the F6 to toggle between the options. In screen pad mode, you can use a number of customized apps for the smaller display, including a calculator, music player, and digital number keypads. 
You can also, for instance, view items on your Windows calendar, letting you check your schedule at a glance. Using AssoSync, it's possible to use the secondary display as a way to use your smartphone from the desktop. So what do you think about the secondary screen? Leave us your opinion in the comment section below. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video and also subscribe for more info and updates. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.